It's time now for Northern Neck Basketball, live on Bay 101.7. Now, let's go courtside. Here's Carol Ashburn and Demetrius Means. Okay, thank you very much, and welcome back to the Lancaster Dome. Right now, we're going to go right straight down on the floor with Demetrius Means and James Monroe coach Antonio Coghill. Demetrius, take it away. Thank you very much, Cat, along with coach Antonio Coghill. Coach, you're coming here tonight against these North Dublin Indians. Both clubs, you split one and one. You win up at your place, you lose down in North Dublin. What's the keys to tonight's ball game? Uh, the key is we have to uh, just play our basketball we've been playing. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, they're a very good team, and uh, we're looking forward to it. I know that the last game that they played you guys, not only was your shooting off in the first half, but they did a good job in pumping the ball in the post to the big people. How will you defend that? Uh, you got to talk to the big men. You got to tell them you know, what they got to do. They know what they got to do. They're going to try to throw the ball down low. If not, they're going to kick it out to you know, the outside shooter, Payne, and you got Gordon and stuff. So we got to be able to defend both of them. Uh, it's going to be tough, but uh, we're going to see what we can do. There, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a big ball game. I have never seen you look so serious uh, as you do now. What's the what's the mood of your club? Are they are they are they nervous tonight? Or are they looking to just come right out and play basketball? Oh, uh, they're looking forward to it. Uh, uh, they all pumped up. We had a good week of practice. Uh, looking forward to this game right here. Uh, we know we don't want our season to end tonight. Uh, we want to continue to play and uh, looking forward to playing. The kids are ready and uh, that's all you can ask for. We can see how it goes, though. Okay, we wish you the best tonight. Thank you. Okay, Carol, back upstairs to you. Okay, five minutes and 43 seconds before the start of this second game, and this is indeed a big one. The Indians versus the Yellow Jackets. And one of the teams is going to finish up here tonight. The second one will go on to play another night. Right now, we're going to go right straight back down to the floor. And here what Coach Michael Stevenson of the North Dublin Indians has to say. Okay, thank you very much, Carol, along with the always enthusiastic Coach Michael Stevenson. You've been in this situation over and over and over before. It's almost like a song. What can we expect out of your club tonight? Well, one thing that I hope that we always show is a, is a lot of energy and enthusiasm. The last time you did a good job in uh, stopping this club from shooting a lot of their three-pointers, and you also took the running game away from them. What will be your strategy tonight? Well, we, we hope it's the same formula. We understand that these, this team has two uh, really good sophomore guards and Cook and, uh, and Green, and we know that they are the keys to the game for them, and uh, we got to do a good job in controlling them. If they get off on us and... Uh, and uh, have a great game, uh, we're going to be in a lot of trouble tonight. So we have to really try to concentrate, our guards concentrate on those two guys, keep them out of the lane, and don't give them a three-point look because those kids can knock them down. How important is it to stop the run of the Yellow Jackets? Well, it's always important to stop anybody's run, and, uh, and more for them because uh, they shoot a lot of jump shots, and uh, they got to get on the board and get layups, you know, to, to keep up with, uh, with anything. So uh, we got to cut down, we got to get back. We can't allow them to cherry pick and get guys out. If they're going to do that, we got to hurt them on the boards, and uh, they're going to leak two guys out. We got to hurt them on the offensive board and uh, put back some baskets. And I've got to take advantage of whatever they try to do to us. Final question in a big ball game like this, do you think that the officials are going to play a big role in this? Because the reason why I ask that, because I know you have a good rapport with the officials. They allow you to have your leeway. Is it important that the officials have a good game? It's always important in a game like this because it's like uh, it's do or die for everybody. And uh, we always hope that the kids have the final say in the games, and uh, not the coaches and not, and not the officials, that the kids, you know, determine who win and, and lose the game, and that's the way it should be, and we hope it's that way tonight. All right, we wish you the best tonight. Okay, thank you a lot. Shot by D.J. McDowell, and that's going to be the 10th foul, and that'll be a two-shot foul. We're not even in the fourth quarter, and Northumberland's going to be shooting the two. And I'll tell you something else, Cal. If I'm Michael Stevenson, before the fourth quarter starts, I tell my club, make sure you be careful and protect yourself, but most of all, hold your head. I tell you what's going to happen. You're going to see some frustration fouls in the fourth quarter. Exactly. Monroe. It's coming. It's coming. You can count on it. They were always a team who could not handle it when they were getting beat. Time out called by Michael Stevenson. Certainly a good time out. Monroe has got it back to eight. And Demetrius, look at the clock. Four minutes and 31 seconds left. A long time to go in this one. you got to credit the uh, James Monroe because they stopped Northumberland from attacking the glass the way they wanted yeah. to. Just a few seconds ago, Northumberland had a 15-point lead. Nadge down to eight, cut just about in half. And then you had the Indians commit some foolish fouls, yep. which helped out James Monroe. So now they, they got some confidence now because they're right back in it. Four minutes and 31 seconds left. 
and the momentum is definitely Monroe. Oh, no doubt about it. And eight points is nothing with four minutes and 31 seconds. That's a lot That's of time. The way they can shoot threes. If they were to come back and win this game, boy, oh boy, my goodness, this would really send North Dublin into a depression for the oh end of the boy, season. That's for sure. We'll keep it right here as Demetrius Means will get down on the floor to speak to Coach Michael Stevenson, who right now is talking to the assistant coach, Dove, of Washington and Lee, who's offering him his congratulations. And Demetrius, any time that you're ready, we'll go right down to you. Okay, thank you very much, Cal. Along with Coach Michael Stevenson, 15-point lead. He almost gave that one away. <laughs> you know, uh, you got to give it to James Monroe. Those guys are scrappy, they're, they're athletic. And they, they have no conscience. They believe in their shot and they believe in their ability. And they come right back at you. We, we, we told our kids that uh, it may look like it's over, but it's not because these kids got a lot of uh, grit. And, uh, and Coach Cocky will just do a great job with that team. So no way we underestimate a team like that. I know for the most part you had this team down uh, in the first half. This team was down. They walked in the locker room with their heads down. You kind of took their confidence away a little bit. Was that the strategy to come at them real hard in the first half? Well, what we wanted to do is not let them get going because, you know, even though they're great players and, uh, and they have great skill, they're, they're young players. And you let young players get started, you know, from the beginning, that confidence starts to build, and they believe they will beat us. But if you can kind of shut them down in the beginning and put that little bit of doubt in, in, in their head, especially being young players, you know, it can happen. But, you know, with senior players, <laughs> the seniors just know what the game is all about. So hopefully that, you know, playing hard like that may have uh, kept us a little bit. Strong game out of Jonathan Vini tonight. Of course, everybody else stepped up. But Jonathan Vini really had a strong game tonight. Well, Jonathan is a player that we've been after all year long. You know, we always on Johnny because he has so much potential. And uh, he hasn't played well particularly, uh, you know, all season the way we want him to play. You know, he's, he's played good. He's had seven points a game, seven rebounds. But we know he has great potential. And uh, we won't settle for nothing but, but his best. And uh, he showed that tonight. Okay, final question. Tomorrow night championship, your thoughts going into tomorrow night's game? Uh, I, I didn't hear you that one. Championship game tomorrow night. Your thoughts going in tomorrow night's game? Well, we're playing a juggernaut. You know, we're playing Washington later. And they showed tonight, you know, and in flashes what they can do. They got great athletes. They got uh, uh, a great leader in Joe Taylor. Uh, you know, uh, Devin Smith is just a super player. And they got Trey Campbell back. And uh, they got great role players. And, and uh, they got the Lucas guys shooting them from the bathroom. So we just got to go out and play hard and see how it turns out. All righty, wish you the best tonight. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, Carol, back upstairs here. Okay, you heard it there, right from Coach Michael Stevenson. Right now, it's the final score again, 82-7 to to the Indians. We'll take a two-minute break and come back with the post-game show. Two-minute break coming up right now. And we welcome you back to Lancaster High School for the Northern Neck District Basketball Tournament. It is over, and it is final, folks. The North Dublin Indians win this ball game. 82 to 72. They started off this ball game with a. They had a 15 point lead in the second half. James Monroe kept chipping and chipping and chipping away, but the Indians prevailed. Carol, I tell you what, they hung tough. They were able to get the big victory, and tomorrow they're in the championship game. I tell you, I know Michael got a few extra gray hazards in this one <laughs> because it got down. They got down to one point there, and then two points, and it really was close.